Along with communications manager, unity connection, you may also have presence, a dedicated presence server that you're using for the Jabber instant messaging client to be able to collaborate, we'll use that word here, collaborate with your users and your phones and your instant messaging and kind of tying all that together. That's what presence at a very high level it is all about. So we need to be able to gain access to the presence administrative pages. So let's see how we gain access. Basically, I, you know, you can type in the IP address of your presence server, get to the main screen. All it does is say, I am present server, you click on it, it gets you to here. That's why I usually go straight here with cup admin. <laughs> Plus I like the shortened cup admin name, it, it's easy to remember. So type my IP address, cup admin, get you here. Of course, you have to log in with your credentials and voila, here we are. Just like communications manager and unity connection, we have options. We have the main administration web page, but we also have the serviceability, the OS, and the disaster recovery, reporting, unified reporting. So again, I love the fact that these interfaces now look very similar and they have similar menu functions. So if I'm thinking, hey, I need to turn on a feature or a service, oh, I must be going to the serviceability screen, or oh, I need to add a phone, or I need to add a voicemail user, probably need to go to the admin screens. So that kind of flow will start to become natural. If, if you're brand new to this, you'll start to kind of kick into that gear of where to kind of find things so you're not constantly bouncing back in between all the menus. Nothing wrong with that, but after a while, you probably want to just kind of go straight to what it is you want to administrate. And once you get comfortable with all these menus, luckily, they're very, very similar between all the tools.